when you get compression of those nerves in the lumbar spine, that's lumbar spinal stenosis, squeezing those nerves. That can cause numbness and tingling in different areas, the front of your thighs, side of your thighs, down your leg, into your toes. You can cause shooting pain into the butt, deep in the butt. That can be when the S1 or the L5 nerve is squeezed and pinched. Again, the reason people get spinal stenosis is either arthritis in the joints that create bone spurs, thickened tissue, that's a wear and tear arthritic condition where this tissue that protects all the nerves starts getting thick, just like you get a callus formation on your hand. You can get that same symptomatology down the lumbar spine of a thickened ligamentum flavum. You can have disc herniations that push out and squeeze everything. Um, you can have instability where these joints get so arthritic, the bone slips forward and it just cuts down that tunnel. It'd be like if you have two bones on top of each other, if they start slipping, you can see how it would be squeezing those nerves back there. That's another way you get spinal stenosis. Um, and then the other ways that I'm just gonna skim over because it's a smaller subset, infection. So the pus from the infection, that's much more common in immunocompromised or IV drug users. So I hope none of you guys are IV drug users. Um, also in trauma, car accidents, fractures, motorcycle accidents where the bones fracture, and then tumor, most commonly metastatic tumor that spreads and grows from the bone into the spinal canal. So in terms of the surgical treatment, patients should have surgery for spinal stenosis when it's causing symptoms that are ruining your life. And ruining your life is a very vague term, right? That can be different for everybody. Here's kind of how I look at it. If this is something that keeps you from doing the things that you like, then you should have surgery for it if you failed non-surgical treatment. So I frequently see patients that say, it doesn't hurt as long as I don't play with my kids. Well, heck, <laughs> can't not play with your kids. So that's when we should try one, the non-surgical stuff. And if that fails, last resort, do the surgery stuff.